How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes, got nowhere to run. The night goes on as I'm fading away. What's going on, guys? Loki here, coming back at you with another video. And today, I'm gonna tell you guys why I never rage quit in this lone wolf gameplay. So, to fill you guys in on this gameplay, I was playing Demolition in the first round. I joined about halfway through the first round. And then I was going for long shots with the PO6 so I can get my diamond snipers so I can get my dark matter sooner. After the first round was over and my team lost, everyone just quit and I was left alone. For about the first minute and a half, uh, I was completely alone. I wasn't really sure how to handle the situation because they were trying to spawn trap one person. But I think that's kind of funny how they're trying to spawn trap me. Which wasn't really working, except for a couple of Santas. So now my teammates joined, but they don't actually start playing for about another 20 or 30 seconds. As you can see, they're still spawn trapping and my teammates aren't spawning in, but when they do spawn in, they're completely useless. So like, I'll die again right here. I spawn in, and I see my teammate right in front of me is using the crossbow. So that's frustrating, they end up flipping the spawns, and this completely turns the game around. And I did cut off the portion when they did call in raps. So, they called in raps, they are getting the streaks off me and my two other teammates that joined in late. And this was just a chaotic mess, and I knew somehow if I pulled out my dingo class, which I just did, that I would be able to turn this game around somehow, even though they are streaking on us, we're basically bound to lose for any other common person who's playing the game. So I'm planting the bomb right now, and I die right away. So, and then my entire goal for the rest of the game is to guard that bomb and keep them from defusing it, and if they do defuse it, I'm going to replant it and go for this win. So I'm not personally caring about my KD at this point, I just want to go for the win, because that's what I have fun doing, and so, so I'm going for this win, I swapped out my PO6, switched off my Razorback, and now I'm on the Dingo, which this is the exact same class I used to get that double, double nuclear gameplay, so you know it's a pretty solid class in my opinion. I'm going for the win, as always, but I also kind of want to get my streaks, so I pull up my Annihilator and I just camp here, and I don't even know I, I didn't hit them. I could have sworn I should have hit them, but I guess I didn't. Theater mode's shots are a little off, so it may look a little more obvious in this, but I get my streaks. Now, these streaks didn't do much for me. So like, as you can see, I'm putting my sentry gun up into the church, which I don't know why I did, because the bomb went off, so it's basically useless right there, and then I call my Cerberus in the middle, which once again, it's a pretty useless spot. As you can see, everything's going pretty well so far. My teammates are planting the bomb. I think at this point, I have a somewhat full team. It might be missing one or two guys, but we have enough players. So I control my Cerberus and my goal is to get this behind them so we can start doing work over there, keeping them from getting onto that bomb that's planted. Now usually I don't control my Cerberuses in game modes like this, but at this point I just basically used it to get positioning on them to keep them from diffusing and planting so our team can get and plant the bomb. So I get EMP, leave it. I come instantly running back over here to defend the bomb that has about 10 seconds left on it. So at this point, I know we won the second round, which is a huge comeback after coming back in the second round of the game with only me playing. So then, you know, let's get down second round. I switch over to the 48 dredge because this is more of a range thing range gun and I know with the bomb in the middle I'm going to have to have more range gunfights right there so then I'm really just playing defensively I guess I know there's a guy up here over on the wall 
I pull him out, and then I don't know how I didn't die up here. Like, I should have been slaughtered by the guy up in the church, or that trip mine. But I don't know how he didn't see me, and when he did see me, he got nothing but the mar hit markers. And then I mainly switched over to this dredge class, because it had the black saw on it, and I knew that they were going to be getting close to streaks, or they would have streaks at the beginning of the match, and I just wanted to get those out right away. So, and then, as you guys can see, my team's pushing up, I'm pushing up, I'm getting around them. And I get my Annihilator, I'm gonna run up into the church, and then hopefully I'll be able to get behind them, which I do, and then just watch this feed. So that, that was one of the highlights of this game. I call on the Cerberus right onto their spawn area. So that is going to keep them from being the bomb, which is going to help us get the win here. Get my sentry gun, and then as you guys can see, I'm doing a lot better than going for seven, seven kills, seven deaths after the first round ended. So at this point, I know we have the win with that much time left. I know I have my Cerberus and Sentry Gun going in. So basically, what I'm getting at here is it doesn't really matter how far down you are in a game. You can always make a comeback, like in this game. So I'm going to end this game watching that little sexy Annihilator streak. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Annihilator.